Um, I call it using the chemistry of those elements to affect the physics of the soil. So it really comes down to space uh, in between the soil colloids. So calcium and magnesium each have a double positive charge. Okay, soil has a net negative charge, opposites attract. So both calcium and magnesium can each, where my arms on here, they can each hold, hold a soil colloid each, right? So you're holding on to two. Potassium has a single one by itself, so that would be kind of a quote looser soil. The magnesium being smaller than calcium is a tighter soil, so calcium, that's why it's kind of that just right um, size along with the double positive charge um, to be a perfect flocculated soil or, or right. a, a good soil structure. So you need, you need all to have a balance, but it's, it's really about those percentages, which is why your, your target percent of calcium is close to a 75, magnesium is close to um, a 15, and potassium is close to like an 8. So those are, those are the reasons yeah. it's, to put it short, soil structure.